Hello, welcome everyone. Mohammed Niaz with you. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to move an Azure virtual machine from one account to another account. Uh, for resource group migration or moving from one subscription to another one, there are straight methods available. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how to move an Azure virtual machine from one user account to another user account. So let's see how to do that. Following are the steps that we are going to execute. The first thing we're going to do is to stop the Azure virtual machine that you want to move. Then we're going to generate a secure URL and download the virtual hard disk. So we have the virtual hard disk now. Then the next step is to log in to the other user account. Then create a resource group in the other account. Then upload the VHD that we downloaded in the second step. Then we create a virtual machine with existing VHD. So it's simple. I will be demonstrating with the uh, interface, graphical interface, not with the command line. So it will be very easy to understand and follow the steps. So now let us do the demo. I have logged into my Azure account and you can see the virtual machine running at this moment. It's a Linux VM. I'm going to stop this. Once the virtual machine has stopped, the next step is to click on the disks in the settings. Then you will see the disks attached to this virtual machine. From there, select the disk. And from there, you will see disk export option in the settings of the disk. And you click on the generate URL. So that will take some time to generate a URL and then you will see a download the vhd file button just click on it then save the vhd file once we complete the vhd download the next step is to upload the vhd that we downloaded to the other account the second account that we want to move our virtual machine so for this i first need to download azure storage explorer so that i can easily upload the vhd that i downloaded to the new account so the download and installation is a very straightforward step once you complete the download the next step is to log in to the azure storage explorer log in with the account that you want to move the virtual machine so select your account enter your username then credentials complete the authentication then you will be returned back to the storage explorer. So now you can see that the authentication has completed. So now you can simply click on the open explorer option and that will open the Azure storage explorer with the subscription that you have entered. And you can see when I expand the storage explorer, I have the disks available and the disks which is available in the current login. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to log into Azure portal and create a resource group so that I can upload the new VHD to the resource group which I want. So let's log into the Azure portal now. So I have logged into Microsoft Azure. This is the second account. I want to move my virtual machine. I select the resource group then Create a new resource group here. Select the region. Then complete the resource group creation. Now we have a new resource group for the virtual machine that I'm going to shift from the old account to the new account. Let's go back to the storage explorer and we have to open this resource group from the storage explorer and upload the VHD. So I just refresh and I can see a new uh, folder under the disks that is a new resource group I have just created. So the source VHD is pointed and uh, the OS type, location and the account type. So I gave the names properly and also I pointed the location. Now you can see that the creating disk uh, web server in resource group web server in the activities. So this will take time. We have to wait for a while to complete the upload of this VHD. Now the upload of the VHD has completed. 
so the next step is to log in to the azure portal then find the disk from this uh, azure portal and we can create the virtual machine from the disk so now i have logged into the disks in the new account click on the disk then you will see the new disk that we just uploaded that is web server and from there i have the option to create a virtual machine so you can see create vm is the first choice so the next step is just to fill up the virtual machine name then the licensing type and complete the wizard so by this way we create a virtual machine with an existing disk and uh, it is easy the only time we need to spend is to download and upload the vhd between the accounts thank you for watching this video and for more videos subscribe my youtube channel